हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक स्मार्ट फॉर्म्स एंड इन द प्रीवियस टू वीडियोस वी आर डिस्कसिंग दैट इट इज ऑलवेज ऑलवेज प्रेफर्ड बाय एसएपी दैट यू शुड ऑलवेज राइट द सेलेक्शन लॉजिक इन द ड्राइवर प्रोग्राम सो बेस्ड अपॉन दैट वी हैव रिटर्न द सेलेक्शन लॉजिक or select queries in the driver program itself so what we did after that because we made a copy of the existing smart form so we simply simply removed the select queries we removed the structures we removed the internal table work areas because now we will not write the logic in the smart form just think if you are developing a smart form from the scratch and you know yes you should avoid the selection logic or select queries in the smart form then you will only only design the smart form you will not go for any selection logic your logic will be in the driver program now now we our header data and item data how we will pass to this particular smart form through form interface and our header and item data are in the internal tables this is our header internal table this is our item internal table if i want to pass the internal table here in the previous video we discussed yes we have to compulsory go for a structure which is through sc11 because here you do not have a option to create local structure so we will create a global structure we will create a table type because here we cannot go for type table of so what we will do in this video we will create global structures for header and item we will create table types and we will go for two parameters in the form interface previously your parameter was order number and you are writing the queries in the smart form itself we are not now going for that approach we are not going for that approach our fetching logic is in the program and we will pass the data or data internal tables to the smart form so firstly i will go to sc11 transaction code so firstly i will create a global structure for header suppose i will write zstr suppose i will write a header data i will go for create i will create a structure suppose i will write here header structure now just see how many columns are there for header if i will check from the header you are fetching how many column four column five order number order date payment mode total amount currency we cannot go for any mismatch if you are passing a internal table of five column it means here also in the smart form we must have a internal table of five column if internal table of five column it means the structure of five column so i will go for five column structure order number we will check in the logic itself order number order date payment mode total amount currency i will go for type now i will pass the various data elements this is data element for order number 
this is data element for order date this is data element for payment mode this is the data element for total amount this is the data element for currency now you all know we have a amount field yes we need to pass the reference table and reference field in your current structure itself we have a currency we have a currency so we will pass the reference table and reference field from the current structure itself so in this structure so what is your reference table this is our reference table itself and this is our reference field so amount will be in this particular currency we have a currency column in the same structure itself so we pass the reference from the same structure if it is not there in the current structure then we will pass the reference from already existing structures or tables i will check the syntax and i will activate i will save i will save it as a local object and now i will activate the structure So my structure for header is ready, but I cannot go for type table of here. I cannot write LT underscore header type table of my structure name. I cannot write type table of here. It means I need to compulsory create a table type. So I will simply create a table type now. I will add T here. I will go for table type. And I will write header table type. Header data table type. I'll pass the structure. which structure which we created for the header i just copy and paste and i will remove t this is our structure now i am activating the table type i am saving it as a local object now i will declare into the smart form so that you can understand fully suppose here i will write lt underscore header header now i will simply write type name of the table so yes lt underscore header it is a internal table now because it is a table type table type now same way we will go for item now i will create a structure type for item suppose here i will write underscore item i will go for create i will create a structure i will write here item data now we will see how many columns for item no mismatch should be there because ultimately these internal tables you will pass to the smart form form interface so your lt data one has how many column three column order number order item number and item cost so i will write order number order item number and item cost now i will pass that data elements for order number order item number and item cost 
Now we do not have a reference column in the same structure. See, we do not have a currency column here. So we can pass the reference from the existing structure, existing table. It is totally, totally your wish how which particular table or structure you want to refer. Suppose I will pass the reference of the header structure. This is our header structure and this is our field. If you remember in this particular structure, yes, we have the column C-U-R-R. -R. You can pass the reference from order header table also. It is totally your wish. I will go for activation. And we all know, yes, amount and quantity always require a reference table, reference field. Now, we simply now create a table type for the item. So I will use T here. I will go for create table type. Now here I will write item data table type. Now I will pass the name of the structure. I will go for activation. Now I will declare a internal table in the form interface of the smartphone. So I will write here LT underscore item type table. So yes, our two internal tables we have taken in the form interface. Why? Why in the form interface? Because whenever we will call this smart form, you all know every smart form generates a function module. Whenever we will call here, it is import. It means in the our program, it will treat as export. And yes, that part we will do. Previously, you are passing the order number. Now we are going for header and data itself.